Today, we are going to be taking a look at a Wartek knife. So today we are taking a look at a Wartek knife. I actually got this gift from my cousin Brendan. He asked me to be his groomsman. Obviously I said yes, that's gonna be in Georgia in fall of 2021, so that should be fun. And he sent me this and a bunch of other stuff and I filmed that stuff in a mail time video. So if you guys wanna check out what he sent me, hit the link up above to check out all the things that he sent me. But today we are taking a look at this knife. I don't really know much about it. I tried to look it up online and it didn't really give me any specs. I believe when it is opened, it is spring assisted. It's eight inches long, which is a pretty big knife. The weight on it is probably similar to my Smith & Wesson Border Guard, which I made a video of that in the past. Go check that out. So taking a look at the blade first, we have the 3CR13 blade up here with the little bottle cap opener, the normal knife edge, a little serrated down here. The next feature up here, if I can turn it the right way, we have a flashlight, which I haven't ever seen a flashlight on any other knives. And it is also removable. I believe you can stick it into a screwdriver or something like that, but this is pretty nifty and I would have never thought to put a flashlight on a knife, but they did it. And then back here, we also have a seatbelt cutter as well as a glass breaker. Something like this would be kind of like an emergency knife, kind of like I use my Smith & Wesson Border Guard for. It always stays in my car. That way, if I were to get into an accident, see an accident or something like that, then I could use the glass breaker or the seatbelt cutter to get myself or somebody else that has an accident out of their car and help them out that way. Then we also have my name engraved down here, which is a nice touch. And the reason why I say I will probably be using this in like a hiking or camping bag or something like that is it is pretty sparky. If you can see that on camera, it's hard to see, but there is a fire starter. There is a fire starter with this knife, which will be helpful to start fires if I don't have a lighter or something like that. I will still be carrying my Olight Warrior Mini as well as my Benchmade Bailout or my Kershaw Launch 11, but I figured this, I'll do a short little review. If you want one of these, go check out the website. I will be leaving a link in the description down below. All right guys, well that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys could, please slap a like on this video. Comment down below if you've ever heard of Wartech knives or have one of these style knives. And as always, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.